Hello! Hi! Oh, should we do something for Halloween? Are we playing this on Halloween? No. But we're recording on Halloween. Okay. What would we do for Halloween? I was going to say Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, ghoul friends. Hello. I'm Brad. And I'm Brittany. And welcome to Audio Shelf. Mm. Before we start, click that subscribe button down below. Ooh. We're mixing it up. Yeah. It's red. <laughs> and it's difficult to say different things and what you're used to. And make sure to ring that little bell for uh, notifications huh? by clicking that little bell. Patreon! <laughs> Please complete Do it. our Patreon form. <laughs> <laughs> uh, be a patron of ours. Well, today we are doing another book Q&A. Ooh, people liked this last time. Yes, they did. They actually said this was a cool format. One person. One person. That. So thank you that one person who said that that was a cool format. Yes, thank you. We appreciate it. But the book we're going to be doing is so exciting. So exciting. So exciting. It comes out on November 5th, which should be tomorrow. That's tomorrow. It is tomorrow. Oh. Winterwood. Winterwood by, by Shay Earnshaw. Earnshaw. We didn't even practice that. I know. I was, I was surprised. <laughs> you see my face? I was like, Ugh. Anyway, we're going to be doing a Q&A with that because I have read the book and Brad has not yet. I haven't. I haven't had time. Mm -hmm. So we are going to do the reader Q&A to see if Brad would be interested in reading Winterwood. Yes. So let's dive into the questions. Yes, let's. What is this book? Okay, so I've been practicing this for a little while because I suck at summaries of summaries. Sorry. It's hard. It's hard. It is. Winterwood is about the Walker women who have their own brand of witchcraft, and they have actually been witches since before the term witch was invented. What? Yeah. That's some historical realness uh -huh. right uh -huh. there. So they live in a house that was built for them, obviously. Mm -hmm. Here's where it starts going off the rails for me. <laughs> <laughs> but their house resides in like the gully of a mountain oh. surrounded by woods called the Wicker Woods, which are very dangerous unless you go into them at a full moon, which is when the woods are supposedly, by Walker legend, asleep. Ooh. Our story that we are reading about specifically surrounds Nora Walker and her trying to find out what her specific nightshade magic is. Every Walker woman has a shade or a brand of magic. That's exciting. So she's trying to figure out what hers is because she believes she doesn't have one. So hmm. she's really like, I don't have one. Anyway, she wanders into the Wicker Woods to go collect some stuff on a full moon and she finds this boy named Oliver who she's like, he's dead. She goes up, she touches him, he's alive. And she's like, WTF, how are you alive? Because these woods are dangerous and you're not supposed to be in here. So the whole story is like their adventure of figuring out who Oliver is, Nora coming out of her shell a little bit, avoiding Oliver's douchey friends, Ugh. and just trying to figure out what she is, who she is, and where this boy came from. Oh. You have already cast a spell on me. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to read this right now. I mean, you... I, we'll save it to the end, but, like, obviously you would love this. Okay. I can't wait. I love witches. I mean, we are obsessed. As you can tell. I just took a DNA test. And she's 100% that witch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> What's your next question? So my next question is, I need, I love character building. Yeah. So who is your favorite character of the book uh -huh. and least favorite character? So my favorite character is Finn, Ooh. who is Nora's wolf. Oh my God. <laughs> of course. If there's an animal, it's going to be your favorite. Yes. So Finn has no speaking parts in this, but he is a great addition because he is a warning sign. He is a protector. He is just all around awesome. If I have to pick a human, it's going to be Oliver. Okay, okay. I really liked Oliver a lot. Mm -hmm. um, or Mr. Perkins, who is the neighbor, and he's like a crotchety old man. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be a human because animals yeah. are humans, huge characters in books. Yes. That's why authors put them in there. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. oh, but I love it the fact that it's a wolf. Yes, it's like a half wolf, half dog, but mm -hmm. it shows more wolf. Yeah. So Nora's like, it just came from the Wicker Woods one day and was at our door. 
So oh, it's mine. It's like a little stray wolf. Yes. Well, actually, all wol wolves are stray. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They're how wild. Do, how do you say wolf? Wolf? Wolf. Wolf? Wolf. You are very elevated. How do you say plural wolf? Wolves? Wolves. You're extra <laughs> beyond extra. <laughs> I don't, they haven't even invented the word yet. You're yeah. like a walker witch. An extra. <laughs> You're an extravaganza. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your least? My least favorite is Nora. <laughs> <laughs> the main character. Main character. I, <sighs> there, there are bits and pieces to Nora that I do like. She's a loner. She's alone. She enjoys being by herself, mm -hmm. which I can definitely like relate to. But then there are certain moments in this book that really, really bug me about her. And I'm not sure if like that was Shay's intention, mm -hmm. but I love all the other characters. I mean, except for like the douchey boys. I don't yeah. like them. Okay. But Nora has this like thing about her where she'll repeat things and she'll mm. fixate on stuff. And that comes through in the book. And I'm not sure how much I liked that. Mm -hmm. That would actually be one of my cons of the book is that the fixation of various topics like when she finds out that someone actually died mm. from this like pack of boys she's like he's dead he's dead he's dead hmm. it, in pretty much like every other page it mentions that there's a boy that died hmm. and i just felt like for me knowing that it's a teen book maybe that's needed but i don't want to like play to teens needing to be reminded. Yeah, well, it also reminds me of a lot of anxiety, if you think about it. Yes. And as someone, like, I have anxiety. So if I'm reading about anxiety, I'm like, oh my God, she's making me anxious. Yeah. And sometimes so that- So I think, that's, I think yeah. that's actually what she made me feel. Yeah. She made me feel very anxious. Mm -hmm. And and Oliver made me feel very calm. Yeah. And so I think that's why he was my favorite and why Nora was my least favorite. I mean, really nothing against Shay's writing at all for them because the writing in this is- Mm -hmm. beautiful it's how we interpret characters yes and everything that shay wrote about in this is poetic mm. like it's just i forgot that it was supposed to be a teen book mm. i thought that these characters were in their late 20s so like new adult yes okay yes very much cool. just because the way they spoke was so eloquent eloquent and intelligent intelligent and, and beautiful Beautiful. That I just completely thought that they were adult. Okay. And I mean, they are adult. Teenagers can be smart and intelligent, all those beautiful things. Mm -hmm. But I just figured that they were almost in their 30s. They were sophisticated. Yeah. A mm. lot more sophisticated than teens that party, even though there are teens that party in this. Ooh, I, can't, I love a good party, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so you have already mentioned Shay's beautiful writing. Yeah. Tell me about the scene. Set the setting. How well does she describe it? Oh, it's, like I said, it's beautiful. It's everything you could ever want from setting up a, a movie. Mm. From just, you can see those overall panning shots. Ooh. You can feel the, the breeze coming through. What I noticed about this book is that it is a visual and, what's hearing called? Hearing? Hearing. Sound? Sound. Sense. Echo. Fanatic. Oh my God, why is what this is happening? Sound? Like what, when you can like hear things and feeling. I don't know. I don't know. It's like ASMR, but in word format. Oof. Um, so how I was describing it to myself when I was talking out loud to myself after mm -hmm. reading this book last night was the fact that I felt like I was on a 4D adventure. Ooh. Yes. There were descriptions in here that were sounds that I could actually start to hear and feel because of Shay's writing. There were smells that I could that I was starting to smell, like uh, rose perfume and lavender honey, and mm. just like the the different uh, herbs and spices that were surrounding. And you know the Shay, area. you know Shay loves herbs, yes, and spices, yes, she does, she does. I could just smell it, and I could hear everything that was happening. I could see everything that was happening. And there's a moment in here where there's like a tiny bit of like fire and like warmth and stuff. Okay. And I could feel the smoke like entering mm. my lungs. And it sounds crazy. <laughs> it sounds crazy to say, but that is just how powerful Shay's 
writing is with this book. Okay. And we have read some things that are not so favorable of Winterwood. Very true. And I don't understand those comments, but everyone has their opinion. Yeah. I would disagree with them. The only thing that I can say that was my con is that I didn't like the main character. Mm Mm-hmm. But that's not even a con. The oh, I think the only negatives that I'm really seeing, like especially in Goodreads and stuff, is that it's slow and it takes a while to get into, so people, you know, don't finish it. But I'm like, that's not. I don't know. Just for me, enjoy it. For me, commenting on the slowness of it, I have to disagree. She mm-hmm. finds Oliver right from the beginning, and it's pretty much this mystery of what these bone moths do, because bone moths bring death and so Nora sees this in the very beginning she finds Oliver from the very beginning Hmm. there are these I there were moments in this that I seriously like started to just have an out-of-body experience because Shay includes these spell books of the moonlight and forest medicine tell me about these spell books which is her family spell book from all of the Walker women over the generations. And so each one, you get a story of a Walker woman. Oh. And it's just, it's interspersed. Oh, yes. It's interspersed in between some of the chapters between Nora and Oliver and their interactions. And you get this bit of history. Oh my God. Which it's, it's so much like practical magic, but for teens. And in this... I mean, Particle Magic was in a picturesque setting as mm-hmm. well, but it's it's so different. That's and it's wonderful. just... Very naturistic. Oh, I was crying by the end of it. Oh honestly. my God. Oh yeah. my God. I gotta read this. Like, it made me cry. And I highlighted a quote in here. Oh, I can't wait. I love when we highlight quotes and, and like share the book and we're like, oh my God, you highlighted a quote. I don't know. Oh yeah. Okay. I could find it. I was oh, like, just- I don't know if I could find it, but it's a quote about friendship. <laughs> read it. A true forever kind of friend, one you'd go anywhere with, a friend you'll never lose no matter what. And I highlighted it. Ah! I was like, yes. Oh, that's us. I know. Us. I know. Mm. But anyway, there's some douchebag kids in here too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. so it sounds like Shay has really built the world up. I mean, there's like bone moths and. It is the. It is one of the most, and that's what we said about Wicked Deep, Mm. is that it's an interesting school of magic. And what Shay does with this one is a very, like, interesting school of magic where the generations each have their own magic Mm. to them. They have their, like, nightshade, which shows itself at some point when they're like guided. Mm -hmm. So like you have people who can, uh, like Nora's mom can lull honeybees to sleep and her grandmother could walk into other people's dreams. And um, another one cried so much she could drown the world. Oh, I can't. Yeah. This is too much. This is more, this is interesting because it's not a typical, oh, they can levitate. No. Or, oh, they can read people's minds. It's amazing. It's and so much in different. Each, in each of the like spell book readings, because you get, you get another one. You get like how, when they were born, it's basically like a little tidbit of their life Mm. it's a page and a half at most for those spell book ones and you just you hear when they were born and you go until they die they're broken hearted they and it's the same thing with practical magic where like a man comes in but they never stay too long it's Mm. not that they die it's just that the women get bored of them Mm. usually like they start getting a little like cabin fevery with the men Mm. and then they're like okay i need to convince you to leave Really? Yeah. Okay. So it's not even that the men die a horrific death. Yeah, not the like curse. That. Yeah, exactly. It's not mm-hmm. curse. It's just this is what happens. I need my alone time. Yeah, this is our lifestyle. Yeah. That's awesome. So at the end of each of those spell book chapters, mm. there's a spell that is specific to that Walker woman. What? So like this one, CC Walker, she never spoke English she um, only spoke different languages. So she would change the language that she spoke. Oh my God. Even though she never learned them. So her nightshade was the fact that she could speak any language she liked. Oh, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that spell. Mm-hmm. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. And so it has a how to conjure a language. And you list all the things. That is so cool. That is unique. It's AF. Extremely unique. I totally disagree that it's a slow book. 
The only thing that I had some problems with were Nora and her repetitive nature of things. Mm -hmm. But you describing the anxiety really makes it click for me. And it, I still don't like Nora, but I can understand the reason why Shay potentially had a lot of like re repetition in it. Hmm. Um, but I disagree. It's not slow. I cannot wait. So now that I want to read this book, mm -hmm. where where should I read it? Like, what should I be doing when I read it? Like, what environment should I be in? Okay. What you and Eddie need to do. Mm -hmm. Take a little, like, pre-wedding moon. Okay. Up to Deep Creek Lake in the winter. Deep Creek Lake. Oh, my God. When it's snowing, sit in a hot tub. Oh, yes. And read this book. And you know, in Deep Creek, they have that hill. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Everyone knows what, what we're talking is, about. <laughs> it is exactly Deep Creek Lake. Yes. Like, really? A thousand percent. There's a lake in this that is like, has no bottom, but it does have a bottom, but the bottom is not the bottom. Whoa. I hope that's enough mystery for you. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> But Deep Creek Lake is the ideal location to be listening oh, that's slash great. reading. We'll read this one. Yes. Because we weren't really too fond of the Wicked Deep audiobook. Mm -mm. But that's your that's your locale. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, thank you so much for making me like we're anticipating me to read this. I'm trying to think if I had any other things that I wanted to note in here. Hmm. I said the feelings and the hearings and the tastings. Mm-hmm. Uh I think that was about it. Mm. So are you going to shelf this? Oh yeah. A hundred percent. There were moments in here that like at the beginning we had mm -hmm. seen some of the negative reviews. So I was ready for it to be something that I wouldn't like. Honestly. Really? Yeah. But it changed, it changed my outlook and it honestly, I was like, this is what I was excited for. This is what I expected. Okay. And it actually like exceeded my expectations. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah. really nice. Yeah. Cause it's just, Mm. And this cover, oh my goodness. It is so, so beautiful. It's such, I just, I, I mm -hmm. just love Shay's writing. And like, we also love Shay. Yeah. If you do not follow her on Instagram or Twitter, what are you doing? Like for instance, the past seven days before the release, she's been doing these like positivity tarot cards and allows you to be interactive with her. So what other author does that? Oh my God. Yeah. Not many. I kind of like start getting teary eyed when I think of like good books. You really are getting teary eyed. Oh my gosh, I you're am. getting teary eyed. I am. But like, that's what happens. Like, this book made me cry at the end and it makes me like teary eyed just to think about like how great it was and how like I got to experience like this book. You're going to make me teary eyed. I can't help it. I don't know why I'm getting so teary. I got teary eyed like halfway through too. But then I like, bit it back i need to stop i need to stop but yeah shay you made me cry <sighs> so if you want to stay up to date with all of our videos mm -hmm. please subscribe to all of our social medias mm -hmm. we can be found at twitter on audio shelf no we can be found at we can be found at oh, why are I <laughs> uh what about we can be found on twitter at audio shelf me instagram at audio shelf me and facebook at Audio Shelf. Was that in order? Yeah. Okay, good. Yes, it was. And if you want to stay up to date, oh, you already said that. <laughs> this is hard, guys. We need Switching it. roles is difficult. We need structure. We do need structure, and we have it, and then we switched it. <laughs> and please do not forget to subscribe to our channel with the button down below. You can get more reader Q and A's like this one, or you can get just discussion topics of what's happening in the book world, book news which is our thing that we like to do sometimes um, and just like random weird videos as well. So until next time. Boo. Boo. Bye boos. <laughs>